Well, come on in to the Camino City Schoolhouse. Hi, I'm Chuck Durrell and I'm the president of the Camino City Schoolhouse. We uh, bought this building in 2012. It's got quite a history. And Camino City was actually a bustling little community at the turn of the 1900s. All of the blackboards that you see here have been beautifully exposed. Um, Donnie Hopkins and his wife and his family, they have a wonderful painting business on the island and they've donated so much of their time and expertise to the restoration of this 1905 or 1906 schoolhouse, depending on who you ask. Uh, but they actually discovered the slate, the original slate blackboards that are right here. It was all wallpapered and they were pulling the wallpaper off and there it was. And it's real because as you all remember, those that can remember blackboards, it's real. Hello, this is Camino City Schoolhouse. And then we have the bell, which was found, we, we discovered the bell actually at the basement of the Camino Chapel. Somebody had given us a call and said, hey, we believe this is your bell. And we documented that it is the actual bell that sat atop the uh, schoolhouse. Uh, we're going to raise this bell again. And uh, we are working on some fundraising to do that as we speak. Here's Jack Gunther's painting of the building of the, uh, that they brought down to make into the hotel at Camino City. Well, let me tell you a little bit about Camino City. In um, the early 1900s, the Essary brothers made a, started a shingle mill and sawmill here and brought the timber down from the hills and this little town of Camino City had a shingle mill, a planer mill, sawmill, a four mile railroad up Chapman Creek in order to bring the logs down. It had two first class hotels, um, it had a, a blacksmith shop, a confectionery store, a general store, a boat shop. They even had electrical lights. And at that time, you could not drive to Camino City. You had to take a ship. And so they had regular boat service from Seattle and Everett to Camino City and Utsalati and Coopville. Okay, so guess what this is? It's an old abacus, my first calculator. And so it uh, was quite a community as long as there was the logs. So it was in an existence from the early 1900s to about 1930s. Um, and the schoolhouse was part of that community and it operated from 1906 from till 1936. As the schoolhouse, it was not just a schoolhouse, it was a community center and all kinds of activities the, this was a polling place, they even had a court proceedings here. And so it was an integral part of this little logging community. Uh, we're going to redo the front of the building a little bit and put the original stairway that was in. Um, the floors have been beautifully restored. So it's come a long way, but as Chuck referenced, uh, we are excited about bringing education back to the community in a big way. We have all kinds of educational uh, experiences here. Some are free, some are, um, are cost a little bit to come, but it's, it's wonderful to have this in our community. How many people can boast or how many communities can boast that they have an old 1906 schoolhouse in their community? And uh, we have the privilege of this and for that we're doing everything we can to maintain this building so generations beyond generations can experience the wonderment of what this building is and what it brings to the community. And we just acquired the fire hall next door that's going to help us expand our mission. Exhibiting Camino Island history, having classes of all kinds, and so we're uh, excited about that. It just happened that they sold it and we were in a position 
to buy it through the generosity of a donor. It's really important to preserve this building and our founder, Jim Turk, who lived just above the schoolhouse, saw that it was deteriorating and he wanted to preserve it. And he spent the last years of his life encouraging everyone from the county commissioners to our state senator to get involved in preserving this schoolhouse. And he was successful. He incorporated it in 2011. They bought the building from the fire department in 2012. He recruited a board of directors. They worked. I just happened to be one of them. I'm the oldest one right now. And uh, we've been working on restoring this building to its former glory. And it's actually turned out better than we could have ever imagined.